Hey folks, AJ here. It is day five here at Guilfield. Um, the mission today is to find a path from the sanctuary over to this side to where the media booth is, and then also run all of the cables to the cameras and the TVs in the sanctuary. So I got my tools, I need to get my ladder, and then get up in the attic and see what we can see. Alrighty folks, so let's, this is the part, the new part of the church, past this wall is the hallway, which is the original building, so, so we need to see a path over here, and then, I don't foresee it's going to be that far, but again, I'm not going to know until I get up there to see how everything is. Alright, got a problem. A solid brick. I believe those are the two windows that you can see inside the sanctuary. So the um, front PTZ is somewhere right here. I hate drilling into stuff blind. That was supposedly a vent that passed through. I'll see if I can get there, but being in the ceiling, I'm not. I don't have nothing tall enough to get up that high. <sighs> Let me climb back over here and let's see what we can do. All right, folks, so I'll take you up there. I'm just tired. Um, ended up finding the spot, took out half a brick. So I got maybe a four inch square, more than enough for my current cables and any future cables. I pushed over the back two HDMI cables, the one blue ethernet cable, which I'm gonna use as a pull string for the side camera and the ethercon cable. Now I need to get a lay of the land on where, where I'm gonna be. I'm probably gonna try and come out that corner right there. So, yeah, I don't know. I gotta think about it. <laughs> Just trying to catch my breath and being up there and having brick dust and everything there. And thankfully, one of the guys here is just doing the carpentry, it lent me some um, ear protection. So that was cool. So that's another thing I need to buy. <laughs> that and some other um, full, full um, mask. I remember having one, but I can't remember. I think I left it in the ceiling or something somewhere. All right, folks, so at this point, I got all my cables there. I got them pulled down to the TV and the camera in the back. I have the side pulled up. I just need to pull, pull it all the way through. But at this point, I'm going to find and make a hole here and then um, start to try and do something. But now that I see this. I need to find out where this last vent is. I think that's the wall up there. I don't want to just make a hole and then realize I'm in the wrong place, but let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Alrighty, first off, got the TV for the multi-view hung. Got the hole, found where it is. It's really, really close to the, um, the entrance in the other room, so that's good. And Pretty much I know it there at this wall. I just need to make maybe a nickel or a quarter sized hole through here. And then that's how I'll run the new cable from that TV over here. And I think I pretty much got a lot of extra length of cable to be able to reach down here. Um, the one, the Ethercon is the longest that wasn't snug and hung up in a bundle in, in the sanctuary. So I'm gonna try and at least get that one down here. Um, I got more than enough distance for this, but I'm gonna set up the computer, the multi-view, the ATEM and everything here first, and I'll, I'm gonna be back tomorrow. So that's when I'm gonna do the cable. So I'm gonna just, since I got this and I got there, we're gonna wrap this up. And the cables I have, just like it signs and wonders, I'm gonna have a conduit that's coming down here. That's why I didn't put it over top of the shelves. It's gonna be right in front of the shelves coming down to right there. All right, folks, so I'm setting up everything here. Um, having an issue with the ATEM, 
I don't know what's going on with it because when I turn it on, I don't know if you can hear that. The fan is just going at full speed. So I might need to return this. But then also looking at their download speed and upload speed, uh, that's a no-go. I don't know what in the world's going on. I was trying to download some software, but it's talking about going from 19 minutes to two hours. I have no idea what's going on with this, but um, I will let them know. But pretty much I'm kind of at a standstill of what I can do now. I'm gonna take the ATEM with me try and update it see if i can downgrade it then upgrade it again see if that fixes it or i'm gonna have to return it to amazon and get a replacement um and then also i just got a call that the leslie um, isolation box for signs and wonders was delivered so we're gonna get up out of here head over there and see what we can do but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna install chrome remote desktop on this so i can at least try and work on this um when i get home Hey, good morning, folks. We're back here at Guildfield. I didn't close out the last video because I ended up getting called and I had to go to um, back to Signs and Wonders to take care of something. But good thing is we got the S16 in, so we're going to set that up. I need to move the camera in the back, uh, I mean, in the front of the sanctuary so that they could... Um, hang the cross and then we can find a new position for the front PTZ um, and my hands are tied up um, what else uh, having a slight little issue <sighs> trying to find a path to run the cables from from the basement up to the media room and I can get up under under the floor but it's trying to find the easiest path to go from down there and over I ended up getting some RG6 cable so I'm gonna run an SDI because what I'm thinking is I might need to punch through the wall and run this cable externally. That's what I'm thinking. So that's what I'm prepared to do. If that, if I don't have to do that, we're gonna go back to the HDMI, um, fiber HDMI run. But let me get my ladder out here and just waiting. Gonna be, some folks are gonna be here in about like, and I'm getting out the light. Um, folks are gonna be here in about maybe 10, 10 minutes so we can get inside and get to work all right so on this side is where the media area is this cable that's going up there that is looks like that's the coax that's coming from the pole here for internet and it looks like they ran this up and dropped it through the wall which i am not going to be able to do so what I'm thinking about is obviously avoiding this, trying to come out here somewhere. But the issue is, this is all the new part of the building. And I wanna try, I mean, this is where the basement is. And it's trying to find <clears throat> where this part of the building is under the basement and I'm wondering yeah this part is new honestly just trying to find the easiest path because the baptismal area is on the other side of here I mean it's a classroom right here but then the next room over is there and just really trying to figure out the easiest way to get over here because I can run the, the cable in the ceiling come over punch out here this will hide everything 
could come over here and I doubt I can get closer there because I mean could come up here run up in there and then come over I don't think that's gonna be possible but mainly just trying to find a run how they ran it because I mean there's a TV downstairs and I just don't know how they ran that cable originally um, because if I can find that path, maybe I can use that. I, yeah, I don't know. But I think the fact that I converted it over running SDI cables, that will give me the distance of 300 feet if need be. But, I don't know. I mean, because there's no point in coming out on this side because we're going to have to wrap back around here unless we come over this way find the way into the crawl space and then come back up in that room i i don't know we're going to figure that out though all right so mr elliott showed me the easiest path um, to do this so I won't have to go outside, so we're gonna return all that stuff. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna drill maybe right here in that corner somewhere. Um, that will go straight down. And then he showed me to, there's the entrance in the bathroom. He showed me what brick to drill through that leads into the crawl space that's under here. So we're just gonna punch a hole down there run two cables i may be able to get away with um the fiber hdmi cable so i'm gonna try that and hopefully that will work and then i can return all of these um sdi to hdmi converters actually no i'm gonna hold on to them because i have two jobs that are coming up that i need them so i might as well just keep them so we got one I'm trying to find my other box of cable oh it's on the floor AJ because you pulled it <laughs> um, no 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 I am wrong that cables on the floor is going to the TV that's in here I should have another box somewhere that is supposed to be for the camera downstairs, which is going to be their regular Canon Vixia that they're going to plug in. You know what? Forget it. I already got the stuff that's going to be here. I already got two sets, so I got these here. I'll put that downstairs for... Yeah, I'm just going to run two coax cables. <laughs> Forget it. Let me drill this hole here, and then we go from there. Alrighty. Ready for some crawl space and attic ministry? <sighs> All right, so this is the location they were telling me about. Oh, so this one, I hit something, but I got all the way through. Two cables are already on the other side. I just took out the drill bit so it wouldn't fall and hit and possibly break the sink. But uh, let's go take you on this little trip that I just came from. And hopefully we'll have enough cable for one continuous run and we don't need to do a coupler or anything like that I guess technically I could pull one long cable I just don't want to do it <laughs> honestly I don't want to go back up under here One more. Mm. Ah, oh. 
All right, so there we go. So let's feed all the way through here and feed as much through as possible. All right, the cables have been ran. Now I just need to test and see which one is which. I ran them all the way here. So it's gonna go to the TV. When I find out if that's the TV one, I'm gonna pull the other one back and maybe run it down here or something like that so that they could connect it to the foot baptism. Alrighty, I got the camera downstairs so we know which one is which. So the other one is gonna be for the TV. And I need to secure this so it doesn't get pulled over. All right. I mean, that's good enough for right now. I need to clean up all that stuff out of the shot from the camera. Um, what else am I going to do? I do need to get back up here and make a hole for this cable for that TV. <sighs> Might as well. Actually, I can't do that right now. They're actually using my ladder for me to get up here. Um, I mean, technically I can come over this way. I just can't get over this side. I can get all the way on this side. I just can't get over this side because I need to go through the other way to get over here. Um, I mean, I guess I could at least fish the cable down. See, the difficulty of this is it's sloped. So it gets really difficult to get to this piece over here. I was hoping I could find one of the existing cables up here and use that as a pull string, but they've zip tied all of these, which make, make that a tad bit difficult to get to. I might actually have to come back here tomorrow and do that or they just need to be able to record, I mean have the camera downstairs. I don't know if the expectation is to have it on the TV. I'm really just trying to get out of going up there, I forget it, let's go ahead and go up there. Work smarter not harder moment right now. They already have these cables, these Ethernet, and it was running HD Base T with this here. So I just need, instead of running another cable, I just need to find where the other end of this cable comes out at. And then use this instead of running another cable because there's no point in doing all that if it's already here i just need to find where that would live i would assume it would be back here because the sound system was always no actually it was in the back hallway so I need to find where that cable is and that would avoid having to pull a new line because this is hmm, what is this this is hdmi going to right here But where is the cable? Huh. I don't know. But I'm gonna do that. Cause like I said, there's no point in pulling another cable if there's already one there. And HD base T is more than enough to handle the signal that I'm just gonna send to that one TV. All right, I think I'm gonna be done for the day. Um, what I gotta do when I come back tomorrow, it's gonna be a short day. But 
the other cable I'm gonna pull and either run this in the wall and put a jack here um, or run it down and put a conduit on the outside of here also I'm gonna run an extension for the coax through this wall so that the SDI to HDMI converter will live behind here um, or Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it on the other side because the HDMI cable is long enough. I just need to differentiate which cable is which. And then this part is done. I need to make sure they know that the SDI to HDMI, HDMI to SDI converter is powered um, when they hook the camera up. And then I need to find out um, where that existing um, CAT6 cable that was going to the... HD base T is and then that will give me my connection to the TV and the fellowship hall and then at that point um, I'm not going to do anything else for the rest of the week but we're going to be back and literally all we got to do especially when they finished all the carpet in here um, extend the HDMI cables to the TVs I mean to the PTZs the other two front TVs weren't working because the cables, I need to pull enough slack um, in the cable so they can reach the TV's input. And then those will be done. And then the S16 is there. We just got to plug it in, get some sound, and start configuring everything. So, extension cable in here. When I was downstairs also was I was turning off the HDMI displays on the camera so it would give me a clean HDMI signal. Once I see that, I'm going to shut down everything and then we're heading home. So let's get over here real quick. There we go. Clean HDMI. So we are good to go. So let's shut everything down and let's get up out of here. I think I'm good. I need to get another surge protector so that all of this will be turned off once somebody just hits the surge protector switch. I thought I had one. Oh, I do. Somebody came and put a towel over top of this, a cloth over top of it. Yeah, and I need them to understand you don't block the airflow of a computer. Don't do that. You're going to give yourself some problems when you do that. But anyway, we just unplug it for right now. And I need to educate them on those items. So anyway, you like this type of content. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, folks, if you like what we're doing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize and transform your media ministry. I'm dragging, folks, so this is AJ. We will see you in our next video. Later.